catch a fish today, you're gonna have to practically hit them on the head with the lure. That's because at the bottom of this lake is a thick forest of Eurasian water milfoil, one of many foreign species that are invading North American lakes and rivers. This is Christmas Lake in Shorewood, Minnesota. An invader that has not yet infested these waters is the zebra mussel, and the homeowners here hope to keep it that way. And the only way we think that it makes any practical sense to do that uh, is with a 100% inspection of the boats coming in. That was Joe Schneider in 2011. Back then, he and other homeowners were in the middle of a long, hard battle with local and state governments to come up with a boat inspection plan for this lake. As a result of their persistence, today, no boat gets on or off Christmas Lake without first being examined by a DNR-trained inspector. And so it's not just a matter of uh, protecting a lake from zebra mussels, and if you lose that battle, you're done, you might as well hang it up, because the next ones that are coming are quagga mussels, and they're worse than zebra mussels, and rusty crayfish, and spiny water fleas, and, and it just keeps going which is why in 2012, the Minnesota State Legislature gave local units of government the authority to fund inspectors at boat ramps. So the homeowners here partnered with a local unit of government, the Minnehaha Watershed District, to pay for inspectors at their boat launch. We kicked in 10,000 and they, they're paying like 36 to 38 thousand dollars for these boat inspectors this year. And it doesn't stop there. The city of Shorewood has continued its leadership in this area by enacting an ordinance that makes it a misdemeanor to refuse an inspection and launch here at Christmas Lake. Uh, it's punishable by a $1,000 fine. So that adds teeth to, to the state law. That's a $500 state fine. So will boat inspectors actually prevent zebra mussels from entering a lake? Some anglers are skeptical. She did a good job, but she can't open the motor up. She can't look in the channels of the, the tubes in the trailer. You know, you just you can't get it done. Which is why, no matter what efforts are put into place, prevention always leads right back to the public who use this natural resource. Remember, clean, drain, and dry is our best defense in this daily battle with the silent invaders.